Meanwhile, here now to on the phone to react to all this is Brad Blakeman. He's a former Bush 43 senior staffer. Uh, Brad, first, let me talk about what's happening with the markets, because we had a significant downturn today, 400 points to the negative. But the market is still up 6,000 points on the Dow since the election day. At what point, if ever, uh, do you think that the market is going to weigh on what the president says uh, about how well the economy is doing? Well, I think the election is going to turn because historically we know they do on the economy. If the numbers are good, unemployment is good uh, right now, it should be the same in the fall. We're at record uh, employment. We're at full employment at, at under 4 percent. And then we have no inflation, thank God, and we have a uh, good outlook in the future with regard to manufacturing and, and continued job growth. So I don't think uh, what happened today is so much about the American economy as I think it has everything to do right, with Right, but, but eventually, eventually the chickens come home to roost. Eventually, if in fact it gets down much further. After all, just to put it in perspective, the market today closed at a level that's about equal to what it was back in December when the president signed the tax cut uh, bill, which leads me to wonder, is there time before the election to do another tax cut bill? I don't think we're going to see any uh, tax legislation before Election Day because I don't think the Democrats have it in them. And we need that 60 votes for cloture in the Senate. But I do think that there's a possibility of getting an immigration bill. And if we're able to do that, we really turn the tide on Democrats and take that issue away from them. So what else do Democrats have uh, left? Uh, well, I, I'll tell hard. you what they have left, Brad, and that's to badmouth what exists, either badmouthing the president directly to his character or even badmouthing tax cuts. Uh, there's one congressman who's put forth a measure. Jared Polis is his name from Colorado. He tweeted out, I'm proudly I proudly wrote the bill to repeal Donald Trump's tax giveaways. It's funny he uses the word giveaways like it's the government's money. Simple right. choice this election. President of GOP lose by cozying up to corporate special interests. We win by standing up for students, public schools, and families. RT, if you agree. Bottom line is I would warn Democrats to think back to Walter Mondale, who was a lovely guy, but he ran for president on the theme of raising taxes, and he, he lost very badly in 1984. Yeah, not a good prescription for winning, especially when... Uh, middle class people are seeing more in their uh, checks and also more in their retirement. This this is a, a year for Republicans to tout achievement. It's a year for Democrats to to take away a tax cut that is actually benefiting America. I don't see that as being in our best interest for theirs. Well, and in fact, the president tweeted about this plan to to raise taxes or at least get rid of the tax cuts of the of tax plan part one from Donald Trump today. He said a Democrat lawmaker just introduced a bill to repeal the GOP tax cuts. No chance. This is too good to be true for Republicans. Remember, Nancy Pelosi Dems also weak on crime, the border and want to be gentle and kind to MS-13 gang members. Not good. Sounds like a preview of what we're going to hear tonight. There's no doubt about it that uh, Donald Trump is going to be talking about the future of America and the present. We have a great economy. We can't turn it around by having Democrats come in and undo what the president has done. The president isn't even done yet undoing the damage that has been done the last eight years. And what are Democrats talking about? Putting Pelosi back in charge. It's a gift to us. Well, Brad, we're going to be covering the president's remarks tonight. You can watch it right here on FBN. You don't have to change your channel. Brad Blakeman, great to talk to you, Brad. Thank you very much. Pleasure, David.